I'm not going to tell you what the next song is. You have to guess. It's not obvious. So, yeah, I don't know. The songs are well known, but the symphonic colors are new. Sting with the Royal Philharmonic Concert Orchestra begins its Europe tour in Oslo. Though I tried before to tell her of the feelings I have for her in my heart. Well, when you play with a small rock band, you have three colors, three primary colors, blue, green, and, and red. With the symphony orchestra, you have the entire color of the rainbow. Every little thing she does is magic. Everything she do just threw me off. This show is, is very different to any show I've done before. There are 50 people on, on stage. And it's something unusual uh, in the sense that most times when a pop musician uses strings, the, the string players just play long, boring notes. And it's not very inspiring. I've asked the, the arrangers to make sure that the, or, the orchestra are challenged. <laughs> it's not just an orchestra playing rock music. It's an, it's an orchestra playing a little jazz, a little of this, a little of that and we can add so many colors to his harmonic and his rhythmic vocabulary. I don't drink coffee, I take tea, my dear. I like my toast done on one side. But you can hear it in my accent when I talk. I'm an Englishman in New York. Englishman in New York and other Sting classics might have been waiting for symphonic treatment ever since they were made. I had never thought about this. It's not something that I I'd planned as a as a pop musician. And yet, as you say, some some of the songs really lend themselves to this. Uh, orchestral approach, you know. I'm happy because I have the biggest band I ever had in my life. This is the Royal Philharmonic from London. Yeah, I've stolen wholesale from classical music anyway, so in, in a way it's, it's easy to, to, to put back in an orchestra. A song like Russians I stole from Prokofiev, I borrowed it. So in, in a sense it's not that difficult to translate from pop into uh, orchestral music. Mm -hmm. I would characterize his, his music as being almost from the Renaissance melodically, almost like ancient melodies. I mean, think about it. Don't stand so close to me. It's like a Gregorian chant. Whoa! I'm an alien. I'm a legal alien. I'm an English man in New York. Sting's involvement in human rights and environmental issues is well known. However, on this tour focuses on music. It's my job on tour to, to, to sing. If someone asks me a specific question about the environment or, or human rights, of course, I will answer it. And I just had a meeting with the Norwegian Minister of the Environment, um, congratulating Norway on, on uh, its, its leadership in the, in the protection of, of, the, of the rainforest, which I think is, is very encouraging for me. But, you know, I'm here as an entertainer. I'm not here to, to pontificate. Mm. <laughs> 